A Louisville mother is sharing her grief in hopes that it might make a difference after another violent weekend in the city of Louisville. WDRB's Lindsay Allen spoke with the woman who doesn't want her son to be just a number on a growing homicide list. Lindsay? And guys, that was her sole reason for wanting to talk to us. Hayden Scott, you know this. Night after night, we show you the crime scenes from these tragic killings all over our city, and you almost become numb to the violence. Well, with all that in mind, this Louisville mom wanted to, us to know her son's name. I don't want to see his killer's name on the news, and they call my son unidentified. He is identified. His name is Jesse Reynolds, and he was my baby. Less than 24 hours after 29-year-old Jesse Reynolds was murdered, and he was killed. His mother, Kelly Pack, sat down with us because she wants you to see the aftermath of yet another murder in our city. <sighs> Jesse was one of six people killed in Louisville over the weekend. He was a local tattoo artist who loved art. He was a brother, an uncle, a grandson. He was once the little boy who his mother dressed up for Halloween. So many of our children are being killed, and but I don't know what to do to stop it. Police say Jesse was shot Sunday night in the Beachmont neighborhood on Wampum Avenue. He died at the hospital. All I heard was that it was over a cigarette, that Jesse apparently asked this guy for a cigarette, and then he shot. 51-year-old Laron Spaulding was arrested and charged with his murder. The detectives told me that there was no reason for Jesse to be shot. There was no argument. There was nothing. He just shot him. Now a mom waits for justice. I'll be at court. I'll watch him go to jail, to go to prison. I'll be there. And waits for peace. You sit at home and you watch this on the news and it's just a news story. But then it hits you and it's personal. It gets harder every day. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. Jesse's mom is having a hard time finding the money to pay for his funeral. The family has started a GoFundMe page. You can find the link on our website with this story. With photographer Josh Horton, I'm Lindsay Allen, WDRB News.